Hello, we're back. So today I'm playing Arma 3. It's a fun little game. It's a bit different from Arma 2. I'm gonna do two of those scenarios, but I'm also gonna I'm gonna review new games as a series as well because people want me to. Oops. One, move to grid zero seven one zero seven four. Kill all those guys. And yes, everything works the same way in this as it did in Arma 2. That's not why I want this game to work, because of the next feature that I'll show you. Hey, I did what I set out to do. So I'm going to show you the editor if this loads, which it did. So yeah, the editor is a little different because now it's in the map or, or in game instead of instead of just looking at the map and putting down units. Here's those despicable uh, soldiers that we tried to tried to murder. Didn't go so well. But yeah. All right. Now I'm going to show you another thing I made. I call it Mission Possible. It's a joke. Now it shows off a new feature, which is 
well, first of all, it's night vision because this is night time. But it shows off another new feature. We're going to kill all these terrorists over here. Because now we're playing as the good guys and we're going to, we're going to stop them. All right. So yeah, this is what I liked about Armor 3. Yeah, this, is a, uh, this isn't a boat, this is a submarine. Is that not cool or what? I think that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, we're stuck on this other guy over here. Who doesn't really want to... Good enough for me, I guess. I turn around. Now. All right, there we go. Yeah, the AI is still kind of glitchy. Whatever. Am I going the right way? No, I need to turn. Just trying to make sure I'm headed in the general right direction. There we go. Guys are doing all the hard work for me. I'm just sort of. Oh yeah, now we're getting to the real combat. Man, 100 meters. Soldier, 75 meters, 
6, 14, 17, 20, 1, 20, 2, 20, 3, 20, 4. Attack that rifleman, southwest. Man, 100 meters, right. Rifleman, 75 meters. Say you can just do your own Navy SEALs uh, stealth mission, I guess. Whatever. Right, he's dead. Target down! Soldier, 200 meters, right! 21. Report, Report in. in. Over. Okay, that was a little weird. Target neutralized! We lost one! He's hit! Rifleman! 100 meters, right flank! Seventy. sit rep! We got a man down! He's dead. Up and I'm dead. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I'm not very good at this game. Alright, well. I guess I'll finish this off by showing some of the cool stuff you can do. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Alright. Let's go. Alright. Now, of course, I know you can do this in a few other games, but I like to do it in this one because this one's a little bit more fun. Now, I just want to ask you this one question. You ever wonder what it would be like to drive a big rig down a mountain? Because that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's going to be awesome. Let's do this. Yeah, this vehicle will stop dead when I hit a tree in about a few seconds. Three, two, one. Oh! And I called it. Alright. disappear. A man amidst the jungle. No, I'm not going to make that reference. Uh, I just did. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yay, I'm a three. And one last thing you can do. I'm going to show it off real quick. is something akin to uh, Call of Duty, I guess, nowadays, but I think it's amazing. Alright. It's an important feature because it makes, it basically fixes the one issue with Armor 2. 
loadout editor. So yes, now you can basically give your guys whatever gun you want. Unfortunately though, it lags for me for some reason. I guess it's because that was the modded stuff there. And yes, you can put a sniper scope on a LMG if you were wondering. Because that's realism. And then you can just go and modify your character's inventory. Just to give them, like, more firepower than the Death Star or whatnot. And yeah, you can just put on some You know, give yourself a giant book bag and just load up with ammo <laughs> Alright, let's do this Now what's cool is, and I think this is awesome in my opinion when you're overweight, you can't run. And in fact, what it, your stamina is determined by how much stuff you have in your, your inventory, which I think is awesome. And yeah, this gun. It's pretty awesome. Of course, this little pistol. So yeah, you can modify it. You can give yourself a rocket launcher and all that. And you can just throw a smoke grenade. It's pretty fun. I haven't done the campaign in multiplayer, but supposed to be good. There's also a DLC for this game, which is the map I'm using. All the DLC is pretty good, because it's mostly items that you can use in the editor, so... Including one particular one, which adds go-karts. So yeah guys, I guess I'll see you later for this little Arma 3 review. Look forward to the next one which will probably be like, I don't know, Binding of Isaac or something. See, so yeah, I'll see y'all later. Come on, game. There we go.